There it is, the snow, our first snow of springtime. There it is. Well, among the saints we commemorate today, on the 23rd, is St. Terribius of Mongrovejo. One of the early saints of uh, Spanish America. He lived from 1538 to 1606. He came from Leon in Spain and was a professor of law at Salamanca and was even made president of the Inquisition at Granada while still a layman. But he had a conversion experience to turn his life over to Christ in service. And he was made by King Philip II of Spain, Archbishop of Lima in Peru in 1580. And he zealously set out to reform the corruptions and abuses prevalent in uh, colonial life. He stood up for the indigenous people and uh, wanted reform of the church, especially of the clergy, because not all the clergy that went off to the new world uh, did so out of missionary zeal. And he tried to bring the faith to everybody. And he died in 1606 and was canonized in 1726. So that's Trudebio de Mongrovejo, Archbishop of Lima. But also today we commemorate uh, uh, Sister Saint uh, Rebecca Agnes Arias of Himalaya, who lived from 1832 to 1914. She was born in Himalaya in Lebanon, and she... Uh, wanted to be religious uh, at a young age. Her mother died when she was young and she didn't always get along with her stepmother and her stepmother did not understand her. And she wanted to become a religious and she professed this when she was 14, but she was told no. And, and actually, I think around the age of 11, she was out uh, as a domestic. And she accepted this as her calling at that time of life for her that that was a mode of sanctification for her. But when she was 21 of legal age, then she went off in search of religious life and belonged to a number of religious orders, but finally to a, a Maronite order. She was a Maronite Catholic there in Lebanon, and she developed tuberculosis probably. And it was very painful for her and they had no cure in the 19th century for that, just like St. Therese of Lisieux, she suffered from that. And uh, she united it to the saving, the all-sufficient death of Christ, the sufferings of Christ, and to endure that for people. And she was blind, she had become blind, but she still wanted to be a full participating member of the community. She would knit, she would do all sorts of things, uh, even though she was blind. And there was a persecution by the Turks and uh, the congregation that she had been with first had to leave the country. And that's when she joined the Maronite Order of St. Anthony al Quran in 1871. And she spent 26 years there. And after she went blind, she was moved to Ad Dahar. And in fact, she became paralyzed well before her death. And she was beatified in 1985. And there's a prayer here from the Book of Offerings, the Maronite Book of Offerings for this feast day. 
the holy face of Jesus, the crucified one, you awakened in the heart of Sister Rafka, a fervent love. Fill my days with prayer, O Lord, she said, and with suffering. So, Saint Rafka, you received what you requested, pain and blindness you endured for Christ our Savior. We ask for your prayers. When we have great suffering, O Sister Rafka, teach us to be strong in faith and full of courage and steadfast hope. May we meditate upon the wounds of our saving Lord and unite ourselves with him who suffered greatly, that we may rejoice with him in heavenly glory. We ask for your prayers. Lord Jesus, make us worthy to celebrate the feast of your holy servant, Sister Rafka. You have given her to us as an example of carrying your cross, and you made her the patron of suffering. She repeated the words of the Apostle Paul, I know only Jesus Christ and him crucified. Lord, may we carry the cross as she did, with faith, hope, and love, that with her we may attain what God has prepared for those who love him, that which no eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no human heart has conceived. We glorify you, your Father, and your Holy Spirit forever and ever. Let us raise glory, honor, and praise to the Father who filled the heart of St. Rafka with compassion and embraced her with fatherly affection, and to the Son who nourished her with the Eucharist and filled her with joy and peace, and to the Holy Spirit who made her body and soul a holy temple. To the good one be glory and honor on this feast and all the days of our lives and forever. Amen. O Christ our God, you called St. Rafka to work in your vineyard, and she consecrated the first years of her religious life to the service of educating young girls. Then you inspired her to enter a convent of contemplative nuns, where she devoted her life to asceticism, prayer, and service. She became a new apostle, an example of redemptive suffering, and a patron for all those who suffer. Now, O Christ God, we ask you that the fragrance of incense to keep St. Rafka as a leaven of holiness for our convents and monasteries and for our families. May she be a living example for everyone who suffers, the handicapped, the disabled, the blind and the sick, so that they may carry your cross with love and joy. Sanctify children and youth, educators and teachers, men and women, monks and nuns, and the sick and the healthy. With St. Rafka, with your Virgin Mother, and with all the saints who intercede for us, may we glorify and thank you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, forever and ever. O Sister Rafka, you walked with Jesus and carried daily your cross with courage. After a life lived in pain and torment, you were rewarded with heaven's glory. Lord, guard and sustain your church. Raise up saints and holy ones within her ranks and bless all her monks and nuns. Sanctify them as they live and work for you. We praise you, Lord. All of the just will flourish like palm trees and they will grow like Lebanon cedars. Lord, make us holy. Send us examples just as you gave Rafka and Charbel. Saint Rafka, our sister, you suffered with joy and faith, with the fragrance of this incense. Pray with us for the sick and the suffering, so that in body and soul they may accept their condition with courage, sharing in the sufferings of the divine Redeemer. May they be sanctified and in turn sanctify the world for the glory of God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. We sing hymns to Jesus Christ, who forgives our sins and faults. We are guided to heaven with St. Rafka's help and prayers. And that's it about St. Rafka. Bye now.